Hello everyone, my name is Julie and I am one of Christian Assembly's Kingdom Partners and I work in Kenya. For today's Daily Touch Point, we are in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2. I encourage you to read the entire chapter. Um, the book of Nehemiah, it's a story about um, people in exile. There is a broken city, walls that have fallen down, and Nehemiah has come to... Uh, come for home to restore Jerusalem's fallen walls. They had been burned and destroyed um, by fire. The walls and gates surrounding this beloved city, a place where the temple um, was to be, where God was to be worshipped. It spoke, um, I think the fallen walls, they just, they shouted of the despair of the disappointment of past memories of lost dreams, lost hope. There was tragedy um, within it all and the pain of what could be next. And there's this verse in Nehemiah 2 verse 17 that says, you see the troubles we are in, Jerusalem lies in ruins and its gates have been burned. Come, let's rebuild Jerusalem's wall so that we will no longer be a disgrace. And I think about the courage and the resilience that was required to rebuild, to not lose heart, to not give up in the middle of a lot of loss and brokenness and perhaps failure. And I think about the season that, you know, we refer to this as 2020, but I'm not sure the hard is going to end when the new year comes in January. I think we're in a time of global loss because of the pandemic and many other things that are just really challenging, both in a big picture as well as for many people personally. and. When I think about rebuilding, I think about having the faith to believe. Well, it's kind of like what I was reading last week from Psalms where it says, you know, that I would have lost heart if I didn't believe that I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living, you know, to take heart. And I wonder how much of Nehemiah is taking heart and believing that they would see the goodness of God um, still in the midst of the terrible hard. So I encourage you, friends, may we, may we have the courage to believe that God has not given up on us, that even in the midst of the challenges, in the midst of failures, may we choose to rebuild. So be encouraged.